Out of school on this Labor Day, one 12 year old young man was hard at work taking a stand against bullying in a big way. Now, Laura Harris has the story of Jalen Arnold, a Lakeland middle schooler who is using his own disabilities to fight back in a good way. What were you doing at the age of 12? Safe to say you probably weren't standing with local law enforcement detailing your new initiative like sixth grade phenom Jalen Arnold. A lot of people have told me that they don't get bullied as much anymore. And that I'm their inspiration, and that just, um, that puts a smile on my face every time. Probably even more amazing than just his drive to stop bullying nationwide is the fact that Jalen does it all while dealing with his own disabilities. It's a hot owner. We caught up with him at school last Friday, and from the joy on his face, most would never know he was tormented years ago because Jalen suffers from not only autism, but Tourette's syndrome as well. Tourette's syndrome has bothered me throughout my life, but I've learned to embrace it more than to fight it. Monday, he made it clear he would rather fight the good fight against bullies, speaking to schools, even universities on the East Coast about the dangers of bullying. I feel like I am stopping bullying as we go along, and I just feel so glad that I can, I can help and change people's lives. And now he's teamed up with the Polk County Sheriff's Office along with the Lakeland Police Department and Polk County Schools in hopes of reaching some 7,000 kids in the area, all with the help of a $50,000 grant within the Community Foundation of Greater Lakeland. Now, Jalen is making it very easy for everyone to get in on the act. All you have to do is go to his website, jalenschallenge.org. You can get these cool bracelets. He gave me his right off of his arm. That's how sweet he is. But he wants everybody to understand that the proceeds from these bracelets goes straight to all those educational materials that they were talking about before, all the things that the students need to understand that bullying does really hurt. In Polk County, Laura Harris, ABC Action News.